This is your 19th of September 2023 market update. Remember, everything you're about to see is not financial advice, it's purely art on the chart. And if you wish to support the channel, then give us a like, hit that uh, subscribe button. And uh, of course, all the links are, as always, down below. Come and join us in Discord. And especially if you want to get uh, some of these uh, magical signals, these uh, yellow crosses, the blue diamonds, these BBWP candles, and our new PRA indicator, which is in beta testing. All right, let's get into it, as always, with Bitcoin. In fact, I'm actually on the wrong Bitcoin chart that I'd normally use, but that's okay. It's a little bit cleaner, and we, maybe we can chop to the other one. But here it is. Okay, so the past, uh, really the past week, we've, we've sort of slowly trickled upwards. Now, let's just pay attention to that volume, of course, that's what we like to see. All right, so we, we have seen, a, you know, a, a bit of volume come in only for, uh, you know, that supplied to uh, to effectively challenge the demand. Demand continues to pressure uh, the, uh, the, the supply and overcome it. But it is evidence, evident, sorry, that uh, that there is supply still in this area. Now, we really need to be testing, uh, as we can see, this shaded area. This is the PRA, as uh, you know, thanks to our indicator here. So around about that 200-day moving average, pretty much 28,000. We're looking for a test of that area there. If we can get there, if we can't get there, this is going to be, you know, really does spell bad news for Bitcoin. Um, as, uh, you know, effectively what we'd like to see is the, the supply being absorbed as, uh, you know, as it keeps coming in, yet price keeps pushing higher. Now, yesterday's candle, again, we see a good move up and then the supply come in. And now currently up uh, just short of 1.2% pushing against that 50-day moving average and uh, right against this uh, this little um, this little supply line here okay so hey we you know the demand's got to keep pushing the ball's got to keep pushing keep absorbing that supply and break out above that's what we're going to be looking for here i would imagine that we're going to find some sort of uh, reaction at that 200-day moving average um, just a little bit okay and uh, hopefully move up towards 28k but this area here that's going to be the, the the real test now if we reject strongly off of this area once again i can only uh you know just see that that again the supply coming in it's too strong for the demand um, and uh, you know again all this uh, sort of effort or this attempt to push prices higher is just met with uh, you know immediate resistance or, or strong resistance rather pushing price back down towards the loads back down towards this pra area um honestly sorry it just, should just say pra um potential reversal area so around about twenty five thousand. so between 25 and 28 that's the range that we're stuck in we can see that here it's it's clearly depicted using our pra indicator really nice and that's what we're looking for now oscillators aren't really going to give us too much of a hint um hsi is overbought on the daily but uh, you know as you know this thing can can run a lot higher but just heading back having a look at our pri indicator that's our potential reversal indicator not not even close to being overbought loads of room to move that doesn't mean it, it won't reverse or it can't reverse um but uh, i i don't believe our sales are going to be giving us that much to go off based off uh you know this this sort of this price action has been stuck in this range for quite a while and it's been a very very slow move up from 25 to to uh, not, well not even 28 yet but uh, up to 27.4 okay so keep an eye on that if we break this uh, this little trend line here okay acting as resistance we'll look for that 200 moving uh, 200 daily moving average and, uh, and and keeps a special eye out as we come into that 28,000 region okay we get a, a you know a good increase in supply look for a, a pretty good move down and, and, and really is going to be a move down as low as 25,000 and we've seen it here 
Um, and, uh, you know, when we were in that previous range up here, we saw a you know, similar sort of behavior, kept trying to push towards the highs, and each time just being met with supply, supply, until eventually just couldn't hack it anymore. And the uh, we got that uh, we got that breakdown. So that's what we're looking for. Keep trying to push, keeps trying to push, keeps trying to push, and then just rolls over. Okay, let's move on. Faster, faster, faster! Come on. Okay, so Nasdaq. Since we actually last uh, streamed or even last had a market update, quite a bit happened. In fact, um, with uh, with regards to uh, let's just drop this down just a little bit. There we go. Um, a lot happened. Okay, good attempts to try and push higher. In fact, rejecting the bam of this butterfly twice last week before ending the week on a on a real solid red candle down 1.82 percent. Okay relatively good supply coming in then we see monday low volume monday yeah it happens quite often a low volume monday a little bit of a indecision candle now uh, you know pre-market flat as can be it feels like a, one of those uh, who's going to move first type situations um, and and probably again we're not going to be getting much clue from our oscillators um three day looks like rolling over lots of room to move towards the downside let's have a look at last week's candle yeah really interesting candle uh sorry the two past previous weeks um really interesting sort of candles but look at that supply coming in here um at that uh not quite a terminal bar check back but uh, heading back into that prz area of this bearish crab Remember, downside target still remains the same, 13.9. And something that's definitely uh, definitely easily achievable. Um, was this not a conversation I, I believe that we've had? Possibly. I don't know. But, um, you know, you got opportunities here for, uh, for a bullish bet pattern. That lower high, if it rolls over here for sure, you got that weekly bullish bet. And, it, you know, coming that low isn't even the worst thing in the world. In fact, you could even see a, a little bit of reaction, then a move down towards the hop, towards the T2, weekly 200. So a lot of uh, a lot of confluence down there. But uh, without projecting too far, far forward, we'll just come back to this uh, butterfly. Of course, we are, uh, you know, all eyes still on the butterfly. We can create a, a higher low here and uh, and actually and actually achieve that bam properly and get the move up towards 16.27 that gives us that bearish butterfly completion anyway downside targets <laughs> should we continue this move uh, you know down that was effectively sparked on friday and uh, actually something that we've spoken about numerous times is the increase in supply in this area but every time we get a bit of a move towards the upside um, it's it's met with uh, relatively weak demand um, in comparison to the uh, the supply coming in on sell-offs so looking at a target downside target um, 14.7 thousand um, that's uh, that's effectively our, our, our uh, next pra a little bit of a, a support resistance level at 15.1 but uh, if we come back down to test that i expect that we'll break through and look for 14.7 anything after that you're, you're coming right down to 14.2 there's your downside targets let's have a look at hsi real quick okay so hsi on the daily pointing downwards um three day trying to roll over here a little bit weekly so weekly we actually had a, a, a um, had the weekly bullish um, HSI at the end of August um, but so far really been uh, underwhelming yeah I, I'm just just the, the the how much supply we've seen up here just it doesn't give me a bullish feel now the only only bullish case that we have is the fact that we have seen this much supply yet we're still trying to push high but it it is pretty weak it's pretty choppy yes locally we've seen high highs high lows and i, I mean very locally um and of course we've got that bearish gartley don't forget that bearish gartley hpc prints it wrong unfortunately but uh, there's that bearish gartley we've already had the type one got the type two now looking for that type two reaction okay we've had the return look for that uh, look for that reaction or the reversal rather 
15,000 is the target. All right, let's, uh, whoops. Sorry, I'm on the wrong setup. There we go. Yeah, so 15.1 lines up with a nice little PRA here on the four hour as well. See so that little, slightly little faded uh, box. You can just see it. Okay, 10 minutes in. Let's quickly, natural gas, once again, up against uh, that uh, trend line acting as resistance. Okay, forming this little structure here. Still looking for lower um, targets. Downside targets remain the same for me. They have not changed. Okay, so price action. Uh, let's get rid of everything. Hang on. So price action is um, slightly converging here. Just, just a little bit. But uh, yeah, looking for that lower test at least back down to two dollars forty-five. Let's see, it's test this uh, test this line here, this trend line here, a bit of support. But uh, ultimately, looking for two twenty to two dollars. Nothing has changed. DXY. Let's move on to DXY real quick. Stuck in that PRA, uh, the um, PRA that we've identified um, before we had the indicator. Now we have the indicator. The indicator will also show you right there um, what we're on about. Um, but uh, yeah, there you go. DXY still holding that trend from the bullish butterfly, waiting for that to break. Uh, just going sideways so far at the moment. We've seen a lot of volume here. In fact, um, end of last week saw a lot of volume and able to break above 105, 10 cents ish. Okay, unable to break above this PRA. Now, what does that tell us? Increase in volume, but that, that sort of roof there, it's just like a massive cell wall. So yes, at the moment we are, you know, the, 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 the balls are, are chipping away at it, absorbing that supply. But if they if they run out of steam, things like this can roll over and then start to fall pretty fast. So just bear that in mind, um, you know, if, if that demand cannot overcome that supply and it's had a, a you know, a bloody good chance or, um, you know, a bloody good go at it. With based on that volume, a lot of effort, not a lot of reward. All right, with DXY sort of stalling there, gold is uh, taking this opportunity to get a little bit of a, a little bit of its uh, that bounce ting on. Um, in fact, interesting, I just saw a, just picking up on something here. Something we haven't actually picked up on yet. Ooh, that's a bit too deep, unfortunately. Damn, that could have been a good opportunity. Look like another M-shaped pattern, but yeah, gold. Look at look at the price action here on, on gold. It really has. Um, how do I clean this chart? Up? It looks a little bit uh, line or messy in the house, but it really has. Uh, it's um, the price action really is contracting quite a bit here. So yeah, looking for a little bit of a move up towards uh, you know 1966, possibly see a move back down as we tighten into this apex of this. Uh, this triangle um, looking for some resolution now overall volume has been pretty chill declining um, for the most part as price action is contracting that is uh, you know it's like that sort of bullish consolidation feels and uh, you know staying above that 200 day moving average where's that three day moving average 200 that's down below weekly down below so well above those moving averages no major major resistance up above apart from of course that big boss um which is at you know all time highs <laughs> but aside from that it's uh, it, it it's looking a lot better now than what it was um you know a few weeks ago or so oh and overall don't forget you know structure's still there okay so just because we rejected off the highs doesn't mean anything just it's just that that just still that supply that just needs absorbing and uh you know and then then we'll look for that that final sort of breakout the backup and the move we hope <laughs> and silver silver will sort of follow suit as well doesn't look as nice it's not as picturesque at all but uh you know if gold gold can can get its uh, get its move on then uh yeah then silver would definitely be challenging 
you know, upwards of $30 once again, looking to break out above, head towards that magical 50. We wish. <laughs> All right, let's call it. That's it for the market update. Bitcoin actually pushing right now, right up against, um, or very close, coming into that trend line. Okay, keep an eye on it. Anyway, thanks very much for watching and uh, trade safe, get wrecked.